Yellow Ralph McIntyre with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video. Well, Pluto people, come on in. We're getting back into Pluto. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I want to talk about making friends with Pluto in your chart. We're going to go through Pluto in all of the signs, or at least the signs of the people who are alive at this time on the world. So we're going to start with Pluto in Leo. For all you new people, please click like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload. You'll also find links in the descriptions to my website and to get readings. In my readings, I dive deep into helping you understand, helping you become friends with your Pluto, helping you kind of turn it from the enemy to your superpower. All right, let's get into Pluto and Leo. So, to start with, we have to kind of talk a little bit about what Pluto is in the birth chart for each individual and the collective. Because Pluto is a generational planet, meaning that most of your generation all have the same sign, same Pluto in whatever sign it is as you do. So, the Pluto in Leo generation is what we're talking about now. So to start with, Pluto. Pluto's your deep soul level desire. Pluto's also your deep soul level superpower. And also, and this is where Pluto gets its bad rap, so to speak, from most astrologers. Pluto is kind of all the subconscious wounds that keep you from that soul level desire, that soul level superpower. Pluto has the ability to see into the dark, look at the uncomfortable things in the subconscious and understand them from a deeper level. And so the first thing you want to think about is your birth chart. Is your birth chart is set up in advance of your birth. Your higher self and the universe decide when is the best time for you to come onto the planet so that the planets in the skies are set up to help you. Let me say that again. Your birth chart is set up to help you on your soul's evolutionary goal. Every planet in that birth chart is your friend, so to speak. Not just Pluto. I just like to say Pluto's your friend because a lot of times those outer planets are considered enemies. They're out to get us. That evil Pluto in my chart wrecking havoc, so to speak. And it's really farthest from the truth. Anyone that says you have a bad Pluto placement isn't really understanding what the chart's saying. They're kind of looking at it from a fatalistic point of view. And furthermore, they're looking at it from an ego point of view. Because when Pluto is, so to speak, wrecking havoc in your life, it's not Pluto wrecking havoc. It's your ego. It's the lower ego trying to keep you from changing. Pluto's there to help set you free from the ego and all the past life karmic wounds. And so by understanding that, you can look at Pluto from a different perspective. Because remember, we're all souls here trying to remember that our oneness with the divine. We come onto this earthly plane and we lose that the perceived connection to the divine. We still have the connection, but we don't perceive it. We don't see it in the same way. And so to speak, what we're doing on this physical plane is learning how to connect back in the, with the true divine, the oneness of us all, the oneness with the divine. You know, lose that limited self-definition. You know, it's like we don't begin and end at our skin. You know, there's more going on than just what we understand in the physical realm. So Pluto, wherever Pluto sits in your chart, is showing you on some levels where your soul's desire, what your soul needs to reach its evolutionary goal of reconnection with the divine. And Leo, Pluto and Leo, Leo is the, the need to be seen. 
And when you have Pluto in Leo, and Leo, kind of the highest definition of Leo, is need to be seen from the soul level. We're not talking about getting all dressed up and combing our hair and getting all dolled up and looking good. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about soul level truths, soul level vulnerabilities. And so if you have Pluto in Leo, if you're incarnated with Pluto in Leo, there's a couple things going on. One is that your soul needs to be seen. And the other thing is that very likely there's some karmic and early childhood wounds that are keeping you from feeling safe to have your soul be seen. You know, a lot of ways to look at Pluto or any planet in your birth chart is to look at the sign in the house opposite of it to kind of understand where it's coming from, what's kind of on the other end of the stick from the planet, so to speak. And opposite Leo is Aquarius. And from an evolutionary perspective, Aquarius quite often represents the deep wound. And so often, especially with Pluto and Leo, people is in a past life they had this divine soul level inspired wisdom that they needed to bring out into the world and either through the circumstances of the world or the circumstances of who they chose to sh share with it ended up not going well like very likely you lost your life or you lost your freedom or something horrific happened. And so there's this underlying feeling like, oh, I go to this place and share information and ugly things happen. And so then on some levels, we shut down to it. We, it becomes invisible to us. So that's kind of the underlying reason why you have Pluto and Leo in your chart. And to understand it deeper is you look at where your sun is, you look at where the Pluto is, you look at whatever's aspecting the Pluto or whatever's aspecting your sun to get a deeper understand. You can also look at your south node of the moon to help you get even a deeper understanding of some of the karmic wounds. And this is what I do in readings is I kind of really dive into this and, and take a much more personal approach. In all my videos, I'm talking to everyone, you know, but in the readings, I kind of dive in deep into your own own personal chart and also your own personal life circumstances and choices because remember the chart isn't you you are you the chart is just the energies you have available and each individual person uses those energies in such a unique way and there's not necessarily any right or wrong way to use the energy it just works what works for you and what's in line with your higher soul purpose in the moment so Leo, the need to be seen. You know, I, th I have thought a lot about Leo. I've spent a bunch of time sitting with Leo and kind of really diving deep into the underpinnings of what it really means. And one aspect of Leo, this need to be seen. Well, we can't see ourselves. You know, it's like I have no idea if I have something on the end of my nose unless I look into the mirror. And even looking into the mirror, you know, it's like you look into the mirror, you look at yourself and you don't see yourself as beautiful as you do when someone who you really care about that loves you says, oh, you're looking so good today. You know, so it's like there's this way in which to really truly be seen requires someone else, another human, something besides us, ourself is required to be seen, to truly be seen. And then the other aspect about it, and this is where the Pluto wound comes into place, that Aquarius wound. You know, it's like when you try to be seen by the wrong person, bad things happen. You know, history is littered with stories of people sharing their truth and ending up losing their life. So one of the things with Pluto and Leo, you're recovering the ability to feel safe being seen. So the first thing you need is someone who's capable of seeing you. And then second, you need the courage to share. And so often this requires this other person. A lot of times when I talk about Leo or Pluto in Leo or anything in Leo, um, I'm talking about the right audience. 
And the right audience is so key because so often it's the right audience is what's going to pull out the wisdom. Because you, the wisdom is so often shattered in doubt and shattered in shadow, excuse me, shadowed in doubt, shadowed in fear. And when you find the right person who's actually pulling it out from you, saying, hey, what? give me more of that. I like that. Wow, that was so profound. Thank you so much. How'd you know I needed to hear that? How'd you know that? That's so transformational. When you're around someone that reacts to you in that way, does two things. It makes that whisper ever so louder. And it also kind of helps you have the courage to face the fear. And I don't want to underestimate or under um, talk about the level of fear we're talking about. And we're not talking this lifetime fear. This is not fear that can necessarily be rationalized with present life experiences. And that's what can make it even more difficult because, you know, it's fear from other lifetimes. It's fear buried, buried deep into the subconscious and comes out. So to deal with Pluto, so to speak, under unlock that Pluto superpower, you need to be seen, but you need to be seen in such a way that's good for you. So often when you have this, so to speak, mission in the collective, this desire to have an effect on the world, you'll, you'll do things that are somewhat self-sacrificing. You know, I'm going to sacrifice my safety so I can get this message out. And this is the other aspect of Leo, Leo being the king queen energy. It's not about sacrificing self. It's about empowering self. It's about energizing self. It's about what feels good, what's nice for the person who's sharing it, what enlivens them. It's a combination of all of this is what we're really talking about with Pluto and Leo. So, so to speak, finding that soul fulfilling message and having the courage to be seen. Now, this could be, you know, up on the internet with thousands of people. This could be one on one with a close personal partner. This can actually even be all by yourself. You know, the willingness to look at that subconscious stuff that no longer serves you and look at it and kind of unpack it and, and understand what's behind it, you know, and it can be anywhere in between, you know, just a good look at the self, but very often it requires at least one other person, that Leo, Pluto, to, you know, maybe being up in front of millions of people. You know, and there's no right or wrong, you know, just because you have Pluto and Leo doesn't mean you have to be up on stage, so to speak. You know, having the courage to just share your honest truth in an intimate relationship is quite a feat, especially if you've been in relationships and karmic situations where you lost your life for sharing your truth, you know. It's like you open up your mouth and you end up dying. You end up talk. You inevitably talk to the wrong person. So you have to kind of connect in with your soul's desire. You have to connect in with your inner desire. Because often the desire that Leo, that son, I want, give me, this is me, this is what I want, um, is a way in which this speaks to you. You know, it's this want of, I want this, but I'm terrified of it. You know, it's funny. Every time I do a video, it's like I suffer from this. I want to put this information out, but I'm terrified of people listening to it. If you've been to this channel before, you kind of know it's a little bit of a joke with me. I pretend like no one watches these videos. It's the only way I can put them out. And so this is kind of what we're talking about with Pluto and Leo, the soul level need to be seen. And so often what we're talking about is divine inspired wisdom that comes through that needs to kind of come out into the world.
or just being having the courage to kind of speak your authentic truth. I like this. I don't like this. I don't want this. I want this. This doesn't work for me. You know, I don't want a kind of grandiose Pluto and everyone's Pluto wounds or Pluto's sole purpose. You know, not everyone needs to be up on YouTube, so to speak. You know, it can be just as simple as having the courage to speak your truth, you know, or it could be having the courage to write something that you've been wanting to write down and share it with someone that's intimate with you or maybe even share it out into the world and then here's the other thing about pluto and leo it's learning how to kind of navigate this in a way that it still takes care of you you know one way i like to talk about pluto and leo is um anonymity You'll notice if you look at any of my first videos on this channel, very seldom did I ever show a picture of myself. I needed the anonymity of not being seen to be able to be seen. You know, a ghost writer or writing under another name or writing under, you know, something that keeps you anon anonymous or even just speaking on YouTube rather than showing your video with your picture, you know. It's like, there's no real right or wrong way. It's what works for you in the moment. And remember, this is deep soul level wounding we're working through here. This isn't just not child's play. If you got Pluto and Leo, there's a reason for it. You're bringing forward karma from past lives that was traumatic around being seen. So don't underestimate the level of fear irrational past life fear that will be affecting you and be easy on yourself remember so often the reason why you had that past life situation is because you sacrificed yourself for the information with pluto and leo it's not about sacrificing yourself it's about taking care of yourself as well as sharing that information so I just want to encourage you, all you Pluto and Leo people, you're wonderful people, one of some of my favorite Pluto people. You sit there with all the wisdom, all that elderly wisdom on the planet right now. We all can use it. I want to encourage you to have the courage to come out and share with the rest of us some of your wisdom in a way that protects you, in a way that keeps you safe, though. All right, I hope you liked this video. Please click like and subscribe and have a spectacular evening.